Data and analytics defines the current business environment. Whether you're a business analyst or just want to get better at applying data to business applications, I'll teach you the top five business analyst skills required to really be effective. Hi, I'm Jen. I have over 15 years of experience in analytics. I love helping people build analytics skills and careers with new videos here every week. The first business analyst skill required is writing and documentation skills. If you're a brand new business analyst, you probably don't have a lot of experience writing requirements and maybe not even a lot of experience writing reports. This is going to be a central piece of your work though. You need to clearly document your findings and insights and the actions taken for the organization to be effective in the current change they're trying to implement and so that future projects can look back and know what you did that worked well and that didn't work well. From writing requirements documents to reports to capturing specifications for projects and even the planning phase, there's a lot of writing involved in business analytics Written communication is so prevalent in organizations today, whether it's in the form of PowerPoints or written reports or even just summaries and emails, you'll end up doing a lot of writing. So if you can effectively write about what's happening and what needs to be done, you're going to really stand out. Focus on tailoring your message to the level of person that's going to be receiving it. If you're writing requirements that need to go into the IT organization for software development, be extremely detailed about it. If you're writing a summary that needs to go to the CEO for information or decision making, keep it high level. Provide enough detail that he or she knows what's going on, but keep it surface level enough that they can absorb it along with all of the other pieces of information that they have to take in on a daily basis within the organization. The next business analyst skill to learn is requirement solicitation. Learn how to collect, extract, and distill information that you get from your stakeholders. What are they really saying that they need? This is going to be the base of any business analytics project you run, so it's really important that you get this right. If you get the requirements wrong, you may deliver an awesome project at the end that doesn't meet the user needs and that people are really unhappy with, even if technically your solution is fantastic. Because of this, requirement solicitation is a big part of stakeholder management. There are many different techniques you can use to elicit requirements from your stakeholders, from interviews to workshops to doing mock-ups of the proposed solution. Tap into these different options to make sure that everyone is on the same page about what needs to be delivered. The third required business analyst skill is problem solving. A lot of people that get into any sort of analytics field, whether it's data analytics or business analytics, tend to be really good at the second part of problem solving, which is implementing different actions to get to the solution. Where a lot of people can struggle is in defining exactly what the problem is. This is where your requirement solicitation work will come in handy. You've realized by now, or you're starting to realize that Work is far from clear and clean. A lot of things are ambiguous and we need to work through what we're being told to filter out what the actual problem or challenge is that we need to be approaching to solve what the real business need is. The fourth skill required for business analysts is visualization. Whether you're building visual models for process flows or wireframes for IT projects, there's a lot of visualization involved. Visualization is just one more form of communication. Many complex problems can be easier to understand when we see them in a visual form, whether that's 
a chart, a graph, a process map, or something else related to visualization. There are many different tools that you may find yourself using. You'll use different project management tools depending on what company you're in. If you're just getting started with visualization, Excel and Visio are great free options to use to learn these skills. Start working on them with whatever topics that you're focused on today. Use it as a visual management method for your work, even if you don't need it in a project. This will help you get more comfortable with this way of working and with the tools themselves. The skills you learn in these areas will translate easily to most other mind mapping tools that are out there, whether it's MindJet Mind Mapper or some other tool that uh, is used within any company that you may work at. The fifth business analyst skill required is communication skills. You can be great at technique and execution as a business analyst or in whatever your role is where you're working with data and business. However, if you can't communicate well, then no one's going to know how good you are at it and you're less likely to implement ideal solutions. Communication skills are something that thread through every other aspect of business analytics work. From problem solving and requirement solicitation to writing skills and visualization, at the very basic foundation, they're all about communication. Whether it's communicating outward or receiving the communication from other people and getting them to communicate what's really necessary for the project. Building great communication skills will make a world of difference no matter what your job is. Those are my top five business analyst skills required to be a great business analyst or just to be great at communicating data related to business applications. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.